this is Pearl, and today I'm going to read Little Pilgrim's Progress, Chapter 11. Little Christian Comes to the Cross Little Christian slept very comfortably that night, and quite early in the morning he said goodbye to his kind friend. Beyond the interpreter's house, the way of the king was easy to find, for a high wall had been built on each side of the road. Little Christian thought this would make his journey less difficult, but the interpreter told him that the wall did not go all the way to the celestial city. When you have passed it, he said, you must still keep to the straight path, and as long as you do that, you will be safe. Christian had almost forgotten his burden while he was with the interpreter, but as he walked along and the day began to grow hot, he felt its weight again and wished that he could get rid of it. Goodwill said I should lose it at the cross, he thought. I wonder if that is very far away. Presently, he came to a place where there was a little hill by the side of the road, and upon the hill he saw the very thing for which he was longing. There stood the cross. And the moment little Christian began to climb the path that led to it, he felt that the bands that fastened his burden were breaking. Then it fell from his shoulders and rolled to the bottom of the hill. And when he turned to see what had become of it, he found that it was quite gone. At first he was so surprised that he could scarcely believe that he had really lost the burden that had been such a trouble to him. I must be dreaming, he thought, but although he so stood still, for a few minutes and rubbed his eyes, the burden did not come back. The birds went on singing, and the sun shone brightly upon the cross, and he knew that he must be awake and that the king had really taken the weight from his shoulders forever. Now I can walk as quickly as I like, he said. And he stayed looking at the cross, with his heart full of joy and thankfulness. I told you before that the king's own son had once come to visit the country in which little Christian lived. But although he was kind and good to everyone, many of the people hated him. And at last they seized him and put him to death in a very cruel manner by nailing him to a cross of wood. And this cross was now placed by the wayside so that pilgrims to the celestial city might see it and remember what had been done for their sakes. Little Christian had read all about this in his book, and as he stood near the cross, he thought how very good the king's son must be, and he did not wonder any more why Evangelist and the other strangers loved him so dearly and were never tired of talking about him. Perhaps when they were pilgrims, they carried burdens like mine, he said to himself. And then, when they came to the cross, they lost them, just as I have done. But I wish the people had not been so cruel to the king's son. And as he looked up at the cross, the tears came into his eyes. Just then he heard a voice behind him saying, Peace be to thee. Little Christian turned around quickly and saw three persons standing close to him. They wore shining white robes. And when Christian looked at them, his eyes felt dazzled, as if he had been gazing at the sun. They must have come from the celestial city, he thought. They are so bright and beautiful. You have often displeased the king, said one of them. But I have come to tell you that he has quite forgiven you, and the naughty things that you have done will not be remembered any more. The second took him by the hand, saying, This little suit that you are wearing is torn and soiled. The king wishes his pilgrims to wear clothes that are clean and neat, so I have brought you some new ones. And before little Christian had time to think what answer he should make, his shabby suit was taken off, and he was dressed all in white. Then the third set the king's mark upon his forehead, and gave him a little roll of parchment, in which, he said, Christian might read as he went along, and he must be sure to take care of it, for he would be asked to show it at the gate of the celestial city. After the three shining ones went away, and little Christian was left to rejoice over all that the good king had done for him.